Hi, we're glad to introduce our paper titled Stabilizing Job Survival Analysis for Disability Employment Services in Unseen Environments. In Australia, less providers on behalf of the government provide support to workers with disability to develop suitable support plans for individual workers. It is crucial for desk providers to determine the risk of job termination for individual workers. Theoretically, existing survival analysis methods could be used to predict the risk of job termination for workers with disability. However, these methods assume a similar distribution between training and unseen data which may not be true in real situations. This figure illustrates that a survival analysis model was built in South Australia in 2019 before the COVID-19 pandemic. The model was then used for other states in the country during the COVID-19 crisis and it produced unstable predictions. And this cause of wrap is that spurious colorations that create risk prediction instability across environments. Here we have two types of spurious colorations. The first one is the sensory spurious coloration, which is induced by sensor data, and the second one is conditional spurious coloration, which is induced by conditional prediction. In our work, we propose a two-stage reweighting survival analysis method to build a stable model for survival analysis. Two reweighting components are developed to remove spurious colorations, which is induced by sensory and conditional prediction. We apply our method to a case study of Australian workers with disability. We can see that the larger distribution shift, the more stable our method when comparing with the baseline. Thanks for your watching. If you are interested in our work, please refer to our paper for more details.